even this relatively low hung culvert, five, originally five foot diameter, but it's, it's collapsing, creates a problem for our wife. Once they get over this challenge right here, they have 40 feet of constant steady stream to run without a rest. I found our wife in here just yesterday, holding her own but not ascending. Early 60s, enough heron were coming up, enough alewives were coming up through that the blue heron, there's all oh, probably 50 of them, but they were perched right in a tree down there just waiting. So I'm here with Dave Wilkins, who um, is a savior of alewives. Um, we're in Muskungus Brook. Muskungus Brook in Bremen, Maine, uh, a lobstering community, and we have a 250 acre lake at the very close to the tide water, about a mile long brook. Uh, got a 12 foot stream bank width and a four foot culvert here that's about 40 feet long. And our last alewife, a natural native alewife, was last seen here when they installed this culvert in the mid 60s. Uh, lobstermen used to grab their bait down here in the morning and go out to the bay for fishing. Uh, but Alwife hadn't been seen here until we stocked Weber Pond for the first time in 2003. Now those fish came back in 2007. And since 2007, I've been down here every Alwife run constructing something to get them up and into the culvert. Well, getting them into the culvert isn't enough. You've got to hold water back in the culvert and put structure in the culvert just to get them through not clear that they do well after they get out the other side. I've had, I've had fish get through the other side and still back down because I think they've just spent too much calories getting through the culvert. This is a huge problem and this is epidemic in the state of Maine. Yep. So do you know, um, did this culvert stop any other fish runs too that you've heard about? Right, well we used to have white suckers They'd run in this brook right out of, in and out of the lake, and that also ended in the 60s, as well as uh, sea run brook trout. Um, the, the, the firemen I used to talk to in town used to catch brook trout in here and down there. Smelt fishermen used to dip brook trout in the tide water when they were dipping smelts. Wow. So, yeah, we had an adventist brook trout here, also gone. Yeah. Also gone. The timing is perfect for the installation of this culvert. So, so this is an incredible fishway that you've built here, but obviously this isn't an ideal solution, right? No, no, no. This is very difficult to get them up the fish ladder. Uh, flow conditions have to be perfect for a fish ladder to work. A fishway is not at all a good alternative to uh, hung culverts as we have here because they're high maintenance. A fishway needs water flow adjustment two times a day minimum during wow. the run period. Uh, morning and evening, you have evaporation during the afternoon, the brook will get lower in water. I need to add water to the fishway to, to allow them to come up. Whereas in a natural pool, they would just hold up in there and wait. Um, the fish ladder is highly, too much water, too much turbulence. If I get a flood event, the turbulence coming down the fish ladder washes them out. A brook would only get wider during a high rain period. You'd, you'd get wide new pools with no turbulence on the edges. Fish would move up fantastically during a flood. Water is a fish's friend unless you're in a man-made structure. Culverts, fish ladders, all fail during flood events. And flood events should help fish move upstream. Right. So, uh, so what's the solution here? The solution is it's simple. It's simple. What was here before was a bridge. It's a beautiful sheet of ledge down here underneath Nick. It, it, this, this ledge was a, a, a bit of a waterfall under here before, is my, what I've been told. And you don't mess with Mother Nature. What was here was fantastic. They had a nice wide stone bridge and always would run right up under it. What we need is culvert removal. These are, these equate to fish running up a fire hose or a piece of plumbing. Yeah. The, the constant flow that's in the tube holds them back. I can go in, if, unless I sandbag this culvert, you could go in there and see fish just struggling and holding on in there, but they can't, 
they can't do that for 40 feet. You've yep. never got a 40 foot straight plume of water in nature. There's no straight lines in nature. I hate these culverts, they've got to go.